Hey, what's going on, people? It's SGZ here from the Spartan Game Zone, and in this video, we'll be covering the most overpowered class mod in Borderlands 3. Class mods are the essential piece of any great build, putting the cheese in the cheesecake and transforming how you play more than any other single piece of gear could. There's one specific class mod that does more than the others, allowing you to use whatever weapons you'd like and deal some incredible damage as you do so. I'll be letting you know what that class mod is, why it is so good, and how you can use it to dominate the Borderlands with pretty much any gun. If you enjoyed the video, I'd appreciate it if you could drop a like, feel free to subscribe if you'd like to, or you could even follow me on Twitter, and let's crack into it. So the class mod I'm referring to is the Minesweeper, a base game class mod for Moe's, which has an increased chance to drop from Archer Row around here in the Meridian Metroplex after completing the Dynasty Diner quest. On the surface, the Minesweeper may not look like much, but when you factor in a Moe's built for splash damage, there's no better, more universal class mod in the game. Normally a Bolt Hunter's build leans towards a certain type of weapon, a weapon needs to tick a number of boxes for it to fit, but the Minesweeper removes those boxes altogether. While equipped, it grants your critical hits a 25% chance to drop a micro grenade at the feet of your target, which explode after a short time. The Modes knows why this is such a big deal, and it all boils down to explosifying every available source of damage. A splash damage Mose like Mitosis Mose here puts all of its energy into explosions in an effort to gain acceptance from Mr. Torg. Still haven't heard back. Any splash damage doubt hits extremely hard, but if that splash is a splush, then you may as well be using a water gun. The Minesweeper solves that by giving every weapon the ability to go bang beyond short fuse. Testing on the dummy here in Sanctuary, you'll notice a small grenade spawn on occasion when landing criticals, and that is where all the power of this class mod stems from. You can see that in action here, using a Chaos and a Blastmaster against Greyward. There's not too much happening as you'd expect. However, with the Minesweeper equipped, we can stack up those micro grenades thanks to the quick fire rate of the Chaos and completely wipe his health bar in just a couple of seconds. Where a Blastmaster has no direct effect on non-explosive weapons like this one, the Minesweeper has a massive effect which instantly makes it a must-have class mod. It's not just giving non-splash weapons the ability to do that to begin with, it also increases the splash factor of weapons that already have it. Again, here on Grey Ward, using a Blastmaster and the Kybe's Worth, we deal some good damage, as you'd expect, but chuck on a Minesweeper and that damage goes up another level. The damage discrepancy isn't as high as it is when using non-explosive weapons, and that is where the main benefit of this class mod lies, and makes it kind of busted. All different kinds of weapons benefit from the Minesweeper, extra projectiles produce extra micro grenades, which means way more damage, a weapon with a high fire rate like the Torrent will stack micro grenades incredibly quickly, demolishing health bars, and even weapons like the SF Force, which fire a traditional laser, interact in a way that will spawn more micro grenades than anything else. Just having one of these traits is great, but combine them and you'll struggle to find an outpouring of damage that can match it in the Borderlands. The grenade spawns through the Minesweeper class mod and inherits its damage and element from the bullet that spawned it getting all the juicy mayhem scaling that happens along the way. Any source of damage can conjure them, which includes Iron Bear, and because it's a grenade, grenade damage increases its power too. The 25% chance is triggered per projectile, allowing multi-pallet weapons like shotguns to spawn a ton of them, although the damage per grenade is generally less. However, chuck on an Infernal Wish, which will give you an extra projectile per shot while it has some charge in it, and you will spawn double the amount of micro grenades, which makes Moe's go super sane. If specced into pull the holy pin, which allows grenades to hit crits, you can even get extra micro grenades just by chucking grenades of your own, which is pretty crazy to say the least. Even just its effect is great, but when you factor in its ability to come with extra points and skills like fire in the skag den, redistribution and tall cross promotion, it gets pretty bonkers. Fire in the Skag Den is an incredibly powerful skill, one of Moses' best, adding huge amounts of incendiary damage. 
an extra point in redistribution makes it even easier to fire forever, and tall cross promotion amplifies each and every explosion you make and grants a chance for it to double in size. There are a couple of caveats with this class mod that you do need to be aware of though. One is of course its dependence on hitting crits. You won't be seeing any of its massive benefits without them so landing criticals is extremely important. That is exactly what we all should be aiming for anyway so I don't see that being a problem. In fact it makes it synergize extremely well with weapons that have high critical damage bonuses to begin with, like the ones manufactured by Jacobs or sniper rifles, although there are times in certain boss fights where you're unable to land criticals. However the main issue with this class mod is its tendency to down you. Because the gameplay in Borderlands 3 is so fluid, you're constantly moving, enemies are too along with their heads, any critical hit that you land which successfully procs its effect is a ticking time bomb that you'll want to steer well clear of. Due to the delay the micro grenades have before they explode, the enemy may be dead but that micro grenade won't be which can sometimes see you standing over their body just in time to get a taste of your own medicine. It's safe to say that you don't want to be using this class mod in close ranges as the likelihood for that to happen goes up dramatically. And you need to be constantly aware of where those micro grenades could be, but that is something you'll quickly get used to. To minimize your own self demise, you'll also want to avoid any more boost to splash damage radius. That includes a minesweeper with a lot of points and tall cross promotion. It's the classic conundrum with Moe's, how much splash radius is too much splash radius. With micro grenades flying out of your enemy's eyeballs, that question becomes all the more relevant. Either way, this class mod is unbelievably strong, giving Moe's the ability to raise every weapon beyond the limits of its power, and will have you dominating the Borderlands with practically any weapon you have at your disposal. So that's all for this video, I hope you enjoyed it, learned about the Minesweeper and how it is the most busted class mod in the game. If you did, consider dropping a like or subscribing, and I'll catch you in the next one.